Hi, good afternoon to Wedding Fairs Yorkshire and everyone else here right now. Um, my name's Pauline. I'm here at PC Creations Leeds. Um, PC Creations Leeds, it's my business. I'm home based. Uh, what I do is I offer a floral design and a venue decor service, uh, mainly in Leeds, but, you know, I'll do the surrounding areas um, as well. And just to let you know, I do work with both fresh and for flowers. And to be honest with you, I've got no preferences. I do like working with both of them. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, fresh flowers, yeah, nothing like the nice scent of a fresh flower. But you know what? There's so many nice faux flowers out there right now. Um, you can't tell the difference. And uh, guess what? They're in season all the time. Um, I've got a few examples here. I'm wearing uh, a corsage here. I'm not sure if you can see it too well. Uh, I am blessed enough to have uh, Alcamila Hypericum and um, Viburnum growing in the garden. So no need to go to the flower warehouse this morning. A nice fresh flower corsage for anybody who might be interested in them. I've got at the side of me um, some other examples. Now, not a corsage, obviously. We've got a centerpiece here, a lantern one. Uh, what I've done is I've uh, decorated it with some artificial flowers and um, a pillar candle. But you know what? It's so statuesque, it's so beautiful that if you wanted to, you could use it just with a few lights inside and the pillar candle. It, it would work very well by itself. Um, going on again to more faux flowers, I've got here a nice little bouquet for you like i said it's for flowers but it is very pretty got some ivory roses there the uh, roses are studded with uh, some pearl pins and uh, we've got the stems bound with a satin ribbon and uh, a nice pearl pin effect down the side there um the other one again like i said i'm blessed enough to be able to grow a few things in the garden so I went out last night and grabbed a few things. So we've got some Dusty Miller, gorgeous hydrangea there. Again, the Hypericum uh, and the Alcamilla. We've got a lot going on out there in the garden at the moment. Uh, obviously some other greenery there, but you don't need to know the names of all of them, do you? So that's the sort of thing that I do. Um, let me just move on. So, yes, like I said, apart from the floral design, uh, venue decorating is what I do. So I'm only in a small room here at the moment. But you can see I've put some drapery up. We've got some white contrasting with some blue there. So I'm quite happy to do draping if anybody needs any. And also the tables. But I don't know. I don't think you're able to see that. But I will do the table swaggings as well uh, if you need them sometimes people like uh, to ask if they can have some not just on the head table but uh, on the cake table as well so yes we're there to do that um included under the umbrella of the venue decorating i also offer a, a napkin folding service now I know some people would say, well, you know, napkins, why? But the thing about it is there's been so much change these days. There are so many brides that uh, will come to you and say, you know what, I really want this particular fold, but uh, I can't do it and we're not at a hotel or anything. In which case, yes, it's a service that I offer. Um, I'll work with linen napkins or paper ones, as long as a nice big three-ply one. So, yes, there's a... Um, a napkin folding service available to you there. Um, if you go onto the website, which is showing on the screen there, pccreationsleads.co.uk, there is a page that is dedicated to um, the napkin folding. So you will see a lot of examples on there. And if there's anything that you want that you don't see, get in touch with us because it's just not possible to put everything on there. Uh, there's also, again, like I said, if you wanted to have a, an idea of the other examples of four flowers uh, designs, then there is a page dedicated just purely to four flowers, and uh, that'll show you everything there. The good thing, like I said, these days is 
fresh faux they both look very much the same now so if you see something in the full flower page but you'd like to have a fresh flower alternative that is totally not a problem um, on the website you'll also find that we offer um, a last minute wedding flowers um, so there it is as it says it's last minute wedding flowers if we're able to help you with them uh, then we can it all depends on how busy we are at the time it does actually say on the page just ask if we can we will and that's it in a nutshell when it comes to the last minute wedding flowers um but then again obviously there are those brides who uh, are uh, i wouldn't say a lot more organized but are planning a lot more uh, further in advance so if you need to know how much advice or uh, advance notice that you need to give i would say six months uh, at the latest that gives plenty of time to uh, meet and to discuss and to make sure that everything's final uh, cutoff point if somebody comes to me within that time which the most recent wedding that i did was within six months and then it was possible to do it and we managed to do that in these times um before we get to the paying of deposits and things like that um normally it's customary that i would uh, request a, a consult a consultation a, a deeper consultation not just a few minutes on the telephone and so therefore, uh, in times past, what I have done is tended to um, arrange a face to face meeting, which is um, good for both parties, because obviously, if I'm looking, if I'm meeting a couple, uh, I can bring examples of the boutonnieres, I can bring examples of bouquets and we can uh, have a discuss further as to what changes we might need i think it's always good for a bride to have a feel of a bouquet to just see is this the size that i want is this the shape that i need for my dress which is important um, and then the other thing is uh, really which i always like is um, people can have very strong ideas about a specific color and those are times when especially during a face-to-face -face consultation where you can, the the bride or the couple can hand over maybe a swatch a piece of paper a piece of material uh, that is you know the color that they're wanting to see somewhere in the floral design in the decor and that really does help a great deal and ensures that everybody's happy on the day um there's also um, the, the other service that I also offer, which you'll find on the website, is a uh, table decor uh, and wedding centerpiece hire. So on there, you will find things like the lantern that you can hire, uh, various vases, tea light holders, mirror plates. Uh, we do also do um, table linen as well. Uh, there's a lot more. It means really having a look on there. I'm sure you don't need me to be going through a list with you right now, but it's all there if that is something that you're interested in. Uh, that is the table decor uh, and wedding centerpiece higher. OK, uh, there's also um, a blog page. I do give advice um, to it's a wedding blog page and um, there's advice on there for Oh, it covers so much. There are things on there for brides who perhaps don't have an idea of what kind of bouquet that they would like to choose. There's advice on there for grooms, um, giving them a little bit of advice. Um, there's also, I was talking about the fact that I do faux flowers and fresh flowers. So on there, there's a little write-up, maybe that would help you to decide whether you will go for fresh or faux. Um, yeah, but yeah, there's quite a few things on there. And there's also a page on uh, DIY brides because these days uh, brides are wanting to um, do their own flowers. And so, yes, I've put some advice on there as well. I try to update it every month. So take a look on there if you're needing a little bit of inspiration. Um, also, there is a page there which is lets you know about the different offers that are available so there are some 2021 offers uh, i won't go into those now but take a look 
and um, see if there's anything that uh, you're particularly interested in. It's very easy to get in touch with me. As I said, I've got the website, pccreationsleads.co.uk, but you can get in touch with me on Instagram. Uh, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Pinterest. So there's different ways. You can speak to me live on there as well, if need be. So I think I've covered just about everything um, that I can. And if there are any questions, please feel free to fire away. Apart from that, I'd like to say thank you if you've stayed and uh, listened. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of the fair. Thank you.